Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Beard. Today, let's um, let's stop uh, short sightedness shaming people, and let's talk about why glasses are actually amazing. For reference, my name is Jake Steiner. I had minus five diopter high myopia. I needed these glasses. Minus five diopter. That sucked. I have twenty twenty eyesight now. People claim that I use this to sell a bunch of very expensive courses on my website, which of course I do, and you should of course buy all of them or use all my free stuff. But anyways, glasses, glasses are awesome. Here's five reasons, five reasons why glasses are amazing. Reason number one, glasses look cool. Look at this. You cannot argue that I don't look cool with these glasses. Now you watch YouTube passing the time while you should be doing something else. You probably should be outside or watching educational content or taking a Udemy class, but you're wasting your time on YouTube with crazy people like this. So let me just tell you that glasses look great. These don't have any correction in them. Wait, there's no diopters here. These are just, uh, I use them as sunglasses because they tint in the sun, but they look kind of cool, right? Like discount the fact that my face looks stupid, but the glasses are cool. So if you like glasses, and I've had this discussion in a podcast recently, right? Like somebody said, but they look cool. They look cool. Who else cares? Number two, you have perfect vision with them. Don't question it, right? You go to the optometrist. Don't ask. They're going to be, it's a mysterious genetic illness. Like who cares, right? Pop the pill, man. Get the prescription. Whatever it is, put on the thing. Just wear it. Don't ask. You're fine. Number three. Zero responsibility. You wear glasses. You have a screen addiction. Who cares? Right? There's no... You're not responsible for this. Your eyesight didn't get worse and it's crap because you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing with the biology. Short-sightedness isn't some response to you abusing your eyes and possibly buying an overpriced treatment that causes more of a symptom from a $100 billion industry who won't tell you the truth? No. Pop these on. No responsibility. Nobody has responsibility. Your optometrist is not responsibility for giving you better answers or actually treating the issue. You're not responsible for staring at screens all day. It's all good. Number four. Lots of people wear glasses. It's fine. Look around you. The way to know if something is good or not good is to ask a simple question, does everybody else do it? If everybody else does it, it's great. Glasses are fine, everybody wears glasses. And if they're not wearing glasses, they probably wear contacts or they had LASIK. So don't worry about it, glasses are fine. Number five, the optometrists make lots of money. Everybody makes lots of money. It's a hundred billion dollar industry. I own lens stock, yay, which went up a lot over the last five, six, seven years. A lot. I made tons of money. Makes tons of money. Those lenses, those things in here, two to five dollars wholesale. You pay how much for them? Hundreds? Profit. You're keeping the economy going. You're making the world turn around. It's a great thing. It's not just optometrists. It's the people who, who teach young optometrists in university how to become optometrists themselves. It, you know, it pays the rent. Like landlords get money, like all the equipment that needs to be sold, all the lens manufacturing, all the frames that are made in lovely China that we're buying for giant markups. All these things keep the economy going. So if you were to reverse your myopia and not wear glasses, where would it leave these people? How would they feed their kids? Hmm? We're doing a good thing for the world, but wearing glasses. Bonus. If you don't like glasses, if you look at all of my arguments and you're like, yeah, I don't know about this, there's context. You don't need to look cool or not cool or pick frames or not pick frames, you pop in contacts, nobody can see it, right? Nobody's going to think that you're a screen addict. Nobody's going to think you're supporting an industry that's lying to you, causing myopia, none of that. Pop in contact lenses, you're good. Last and extra bonus, there's always LASIK, right? I mean, yeah, we talked to Dr. Morris Waxler, the former head of the FDA surgical devices, who said LASIK is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. He's the one who got it approved at the FDA. He says it was a terrible idea. Podcast, maybe I remember to link it below, but whatever. You probably have a friend, probably maybe you had LASIK and it worked out fine. It's fine, right? So if you don't like glasses and you don't like contact lenses, there's always LASIK. Most importantly, and to conclude this whole video is don't question it. Biology is complicated. Right? Actual answers are complicated. Personal responsibility is complicated. All of these things 
how complicated and all you need to do is pop on some glasses or pop in some contacts or do some LASIK surgery and don't ask questions. Go along with the flow, right? Don't, don't mess it up. You're part of a society. The group depends on everybody working together and everybody bowing and doing as you're told. You're doing the right thing. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.